everybody, UO Archangel here, and welcome to this week's event in Legendary Game of Heroes. It's called World Conqueror. Now, I'm doing a video earlier than I usually do because I have a lot going on, but anyway, uh, this week's event is a Slayer event, but it's a little different, so we're going to have to go through a lot here. Um, also, we have Guild Wars, so I might actually go live for Guild Wars tonight. Um, first two nights we won, uh, last three nights we lost, so, eh. but let's just go into the guild right now. Right now we uh, posted on Reddit, we got a lot of new players, so if uh, we're still looking for some players that are ranked up, so if you are on Reddit, look for Dubai's post, uh, let me just uh, move my face a little bit here, I'll show you. Dubai Prince has posted on Reddit, so if you're on Reddit, uh, we're still recruiting, talk to him, and we'll get you in our guild. Right now, we have a full guild, but we're looking for new players to get our citizens from out of just people who don't play uh, to people who play every day. Uh, probably could sneak some more people in there, so don't uh, worry about who you see in here. We got some new guys. Skeeby, Biff, Steve, uh, Holy Salah, I don't know is that how you pronounce that, uh, Just Valley is new too, so we're all trying to get better as a guild, and moving on from our guild profile to this week's event, now, what we had to do for this event, it's like a four stage event, I'm going to move myself back a little bit. World Conqueror. When you go to the screen, you get the world. You get. You have to tap on the shield. Now, Aurelium Hills is the first part. So I'm supposed. This is for the first part of the map that they're uh, where the twins live. Uh, so I'm assuming in later events we're going to reveal more of the map, quote unquote, or whatever. Uh, right now, where we stand, we're 227th out of 8,000 guilds. Now, to do this, uh, we had to buy who was on all, he's on the most this week, so he was the first one to get to the gate, and I'll explain the gate where the guild boss is. And all the materials that we get, we funnel to Dubai to kill the guild boss. Uh, instead of doing it individually. If you actually read up on this on the Facebook uh, I'm not going to go into every detail, but uh, once you get someone in there to get... Whoa! Wow! Once you get somebody in there to kill, you can keep funneling the materials to make the scroll and all that. And once I tap in here, you'll see what I mean. If you're not playing the game, you're probably saying, what? But if you are playing the game and watching this video... You know what I mean. Let me just collect some of these rewards. I think I have one or two in here. Uh, right now, as uh, individual, I stand. I was number one the first day I started playing. Now, right now, I'm 21st, which is fine. Uh, I still need. I didn't even make it to the gate yet. Uh, let me just collect all these real quick. There's different uh, materials to collect in every stage, too. So you have to fight every st different stage uh, bosses to get all these materials to get through all the stages. I'm just going to X out of the bosses that are gone. Right now I'm in the fortress. I'm trying to get through to get to the gate to get better rewards and all that. But these are decent rewards. I didn't. Even, I should have showed you really because I don't know how much I'm gonna play and get get defeated to show you. All right. So here are the four stages. Uh, I completed three. You can see I still need 18 more to unlock the throne room. That's what it's called, the throne room. I don't know why I was saying the gate or whatever. Uh, I lock the armory is the first stage, second stage is the catacombs, 
third is the fortress, which I'm in right now, and the fourth stage is the throne room. That's where the guild boss is to fight. Now, you need all these materials here to fight, to make a scroll. Um, I haven't fought the guild boss, so I don't know how many scrolls. I think you could only use one scroll at a time, but you need that much stuff to fight the guild boss. That's how you... You craft these scroll, scrolls to fight the guild boss because she has uh, like a shield up or something like that. And I'm taking a quick drink of coffee because I have to. Because I like it. But. So we've been following all these uh, things to Dubai. The hardest, I guess, uh, not the hardest, the most you need is these uh, cathedral. Uh, or these holy sticks or whatever they are um, you can only get them in the cathedral that's where they are um, like the, the uh, bow and all this they're all in different parts so that's why you have to fight different bosses not just the fortress boss or the cathedral boss or whatever um, now here's the cards you could get for the week uh, I did not get the main card event again because uh, I just didn't have enough gems to pour into it uh, is right here this was the first pack we got this is the main event card summoner Camila 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 that's what I'm going with but that would be the first card the main event card uh, what she does uh, leader skills 300 uh, recovery you wouldn't use that for all dwarf heroes that's weird but that's pretty cool if you have we did get dwarf heroes but they're starting to do them uh, battle skills is create four light gems destroy four dark gems charge rate is nine gems cooldown is three that's a pretty good uh, battle skill then passive is if eight more light gems exist increase self attack by 35 percent for two turns not bad now like I said I didn't get that card so I had to settle for two which I always do out of the other pack well I get one out of the pack and then when I'm playing the game I get it in collections in the conjuring pack this week uh, that's the ultra rare card the prism knight which I did not get I did get <clears throat> this card uh, Kajia, 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 I don't know, is that how you do it, I don't know, pronounce it or whatever. I do have two, uh, two of these, um, leader skills, 300 damage and HP for all light demigod heroes. Now, I did not put her as leader either because, uh, I'll show you my setup too. Uh, battle skills attack for 800% attack if eight or more light gems exist attack again for 2,000% attack Charge rate is nine gems cooldown is three pretty good uh, Card to have as well uh, I'll show you my setup This is the route I had to go oh and I got the weapon I'll show you that the new weapon that they put out once I go into my cards here now this is my setup uh, I just don't have I have four slayers but one is not a slayer uh, that's a card from the past event I have uh, my fairy queen as lead and this is why because uh, for leader skills, she does 300 damage and HP for all light warrior heroes. So, uh, Catherine is a, a warrior, so she gets that benefit. The new cards are warriors, they get that benefit. Even this one, Shershrad, which I'll never be able to pronounce right. I have to put that in pr my pronunciation app and figure it out, but... She's a warrior, but she's not a slayer, but she gets the benefit of that. Then I have Snow White in here just because she's a slayer, and plus I like her passive attack, uh, which happens more than often. Uh, her battle skill 
attack for a th 10 thousand percent of recovery charge rate nine gems three turns passive is cruel revenge when a hero attacks snow white has a 50 percent chance to attack again for 200 percent attack which most of the time she is attacking if we if your cards get hit and then i have the other the second card uh powered up to 10 times slayer for the event uh i don't have it powered up as much but i should put some more uh uh, power up into it. So that's a warrior. So that gets 300% too. The only one that doesn't is Snow White, which I wish it did because she's just a attacker. She's not a warrior. So, but she has more damage as a, an attacker than a warrior does. Uh, it doesn't look like it because I have this ev uh, awoken to once, so it looks like she has more. But. Um, if you look at the attack here on Snow White, and compared to the other cards, attackers have more attack. And warriors have more health, really. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me, uh, prop myself back up here. And have coffee. So, that's my setup. My gear, I'll show you real quick. I have my six star uh, blade in here, or saber. I have the magic lamp from past events where it throws uh, four light gems on the board at the beginning of battle. Um, then I have my emerald knife, which uh, affects fable characters, which two of them are in there, and that helps them. Then I also have this, uh, it's the uh, Dream Piercer, which helps Fable Heroes again. So that helps my two Fable Heroes I have in there. I think there's two. And this is the new gear, the Summoning Blades uh, g generate up to a maximum of three Light Powered Gem ones on turn one. One for Summoner Kamala. One for Kaja and one for... So if I had all three of them, I'd generate three. I only generate one uh, power... Uh, uh, power light gem one because I only have one hero. Uh, it doesn't stack with other summoner powers, blah, blah, blah. And it targets all demigod heroes, which those two new cards are demigod heroes. So attack is up by over a thousand on those cards. So that's the setup. Now to actually go into the event, it's gonna suck <laughs> because uh, this is an event where I could, I I don't want to just fight anybody or everybody. Um, we're gonna go into this 110 that I was rallied to by one of my guild mates though, because um, Cathedral we get more of those sticks and I really want to get. Uh, sticks to help to buy defeat more of the guild bosses so i'm only doing one i only have nine keys right now i'm only doing one time oh, i hope i put the event cards in because if i didn't i'll be sol right now i'm drinking coffee <laughs> Alright, I do have it. Now you're going to see all the light gems pop up here for Wish and the summoning. There's the power one card. Oh, shit. I wasn't even paying attention to what I'm doing here. There's really no other way to get more light gems on the board either. So, oh. totally didn't want to do that. I'm going to use some power-ups, though. And the person I'm fighting now is from a past event. One of the main bosses from a past event. Ah, crap.
my time's up. I had no more late gems. There's no other way I could uh, get more late gems. I don't have a card that puts late gems besides that on the board. So I'm stuck with uh, trying to get late gems on the board right away. So most of our guild was rallied to this. I'll see if I can rally somebody else to it just to get it killed. I don't know if they will or not. That's this is another thing about this event because a lot of people aren't rallying to every boss. So you really have to watch what you fight. Um, let me see what the rewards are. I go to every rally uh, that's from our guild. Let me see what the rewards are in here. See, the trophies are only 238 or 237 trophies uh, for a rally, but the rally you get you get another 237. This is the blessed stake that uh, you need one of the components you need to get uh, the guild boss that scroll made. So, and then the rest is all the same with the coins and that to upgrade your cards and the upgrade the weapon uh, you need those coins so here's one found by me um, I'm just gonna fight it because it was found by me hopefully I can get people to rally to it I don't know if it will happen, it's the armory. I actually need uh, something else so I can get out of this division and get to the next division. It's not the armory. Oh, the fortress. I need fortress coins. You really can't see the damage. I am only using one key, so it's not a lot of damage. Well, I should have used the power-ups, but... I'll do them now before I die. Or before time runs out. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> and there you saw uh, Snow White. She got attacked, so she did her passive. So... I'm MVP right now. I'm just going to rally, see if anybody's going to... Nobody really on in the guild. And hopefully, I don't know if people will rally or not, but we'll see. And that's, like I said, that's a part of it. You have to fight really everything. Uh, there's all different bosses, and they all have a defender skill when you're fighting them. It's like you're playing Guild Wars, really. It's really different. Uh, don't know if I like it or not, really, to tell you the truth. I don't like this kind of event anyway. I've said that in the past. Um, so. When I'm sitting here waiting for either a rally or to find a boss for me to kill, that's when I get a little mad. Uh... I'll show you the top guilds right now. We're 228th. That's thanks to us feeding Dubai. 
Um, right now we're in bronze one. We were up there, but we're slowly starting to move down a little bit. And you can see Dubai has like over two billion. That's just for uh, guild trophies fighting the uh, queen. Or fighting the main guild boss, I should say. I wish I could show you that. And Dubai also, congratulations to him. He's got almost all the extreme bosses complete. So, he got all those defender cards out of there and stuff. I'm still trying to figure it out because I don't have the cards like Dubai does because I just don't. I can't pay to play as much as some guys. We'll just put it that way. And I'm going to cough for a second. Hang on. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, so, I'm looking for something to fight that I could use one key and just go get one key back. And these huge armory or, or even this right here, that's a lot of hit points for just a, a guild boss. Not a guild boss, a, a regular boss. So I'm like, well, how are you supposed to do all this? I really don't understand it all. Uh, I tried to read about it and... I mean, I understand it what you have to do and stuff to get the the crafting items and that but I don't know it's interesting but I I to me I really don't like it. it makes it a little bit more on the playing field where people can't just because uh, you see me at 15 usually these events I'm not like that so I guess it's harder to get more trophies. I don't know. Although my other character, which I paid no money for, is like in the bottom tier of his division. But I haven't played with him a lot anyway. See, like, I don't know what to fight. I know we're looking for cathedral stuff. Is it cathedral? But I need fortress stuff, too, to move on up to another level. So right now, I'm kind of stuck on what I'm doing. <coughs> Excuse me. And plus, with only seven keys right now, I, I'm like, well, what should I fight? Because I blew a lot of them in the past day. Uh, doing all this I really want to show you more on this video I'll show you where we stand in Guild Wars well what it looks like at Guild Wars I should say I should have just left that there but I, mean, I should have waited actually to make that ah. come on die Probably not gonna kill her. She dead? <laughs> All right, so I used one key there. I get a key back for getting the killer key. I always say it's a and it's a cathedral, so I get one of those blessed stakes. Uh, got participation. I didn't get MVP or anything like that, but I got an extra key and one of those stakes at least. So, we'll claim them.
I really, I really don't like these events. Because you still have to get these main bosses for trophies. Oh, finally, a Fortress w Wicked Queen. Let me see what this has in it. See, even those, but I need those up top, like the coins to move past the fortress. Not all the coins, but one of the coins at least. So I'm going to do one more of these. Uh, I'll show you where we are at Guild Wars. I might put a video up for Guild Wars. I've been dropping the ball with Guild Wars. I really have to use my head on Guild Wars anymore. Instead of my emotions. <laughs> All right. And this is going to get <clears throat> killed before I could even rally anybody, but that's fine. And it's dead. All right. I was just staring at the metals to see which one. I think it's that last one on the right that I really need to get out of this division. Or this stage of the the game, I should say. And in the fortress, you get the Vanquisher's bow to send to your guildmates. <clears throat> so I'm going to claim them. Uh, I just got rallied to... No, I'm not going to that. See, I try to wait, too, to see if people are actually going to kill it before I start wasting keys. Because I wasted a lot of keys already this event because people weren't just not going to them or getting them killed or killing themselves, I should say. Uh, certain ones I try to kill myself, especially rallied by me. If it's a lower one, I try not to rally anybody because it's just a waste of time. And plus, you can get two keys for the price of one, so you actually gain a key. Uh, but I really don't have the uh, bosses anymore to keep doing it. I mean, the cards. Let's see what's going on in the guild real quick. Okay, everybody's just trading stuff. I'm going to send these gifts off real quick to Dubai. So, we, like I said, we sent, send everything <clears throat> to one person. So that person can kill the guild boss. Because that's where the main... Uh, Trophies are for guilds to get your guild up there. And if you hear any screaming, it's just my grandson. Because he's a crazy lunatic anyway. But And these stakes, I know Dubai says he needs a lot of those. That's why we're killing in the cathedral. You gotta kill every... They, I think he says he needs those the most. So I try to fine cathedral at least so here's where we stand in guild wars um if you're playing this event send me so give me some comments because i'm really not thrilled with it i tell me what you think it's different but i just don't like the slayer of it i don't like getting summoned to bosses waiting for waiting for a rally to bosses because you can't do it yourself um I mean, this is where teamwork comes in, I guess. Oh, yeah, knock it off. So right before we go, I will show you uh, 
Guild Wars right now. We slipped down to 497. We were like at 402. We lost the last two events. See where we stand right now. Everybody that I know has attacked. Right now, this time we're up 128 to 107. If it will stay there, I don't know. We're playing uh, Legends of Eve right now. Now, in Guild Wars 2, I changed my setup to all the uh, all warding cards. Even at 5 stars and 4 stars, some of them are better. Plus, I think they're very hard to kill. So I put every warden I could in there. Uh, my first one's only at 4 stars, so that's probably... I wanted to get Yasmina to 6 stars, and I made a stupid mistake this week and spent my... Dungeon tokens on something else. I was so mad. I, once I realized what I was doing, and then I did it. But I upgraded one of my Slayer cards that was at five stars to six stars because I've had it forever, and I just never up had the uh, stuff to upgrade it. But anyway, enough of that. I put all warding cards. So check out your warding cards. Plug them in and see how much power they gain by plugging them in. I actually went down as you can see, but they're much harder to kill. I'm telling you, if you put warding cards in, um, they're a lot harder to kill. You really need someone who has a lot of skill to kill warding cards. Especially Yasmina, if you have that at six stars, uh, that's a guaranteed. I don't know anybody who's beaten it yet. Uh, and if you have, it's probably right in the beginning or like high, uh, how I have it. If she's down here, she has a lot of power, a lot of power very hard to kill so anyway that's this week's uh video on uh, legendary game of heroes uh it's sorry it's a so-so video because it's a so-so event for me because i get more into uh the commander events because it's individual and i could show you more because i'm in control of that I'm not waiting for people to rally me or stupid bosses that i don't want to fight anyway <coughs> Oh, excuse me. This says, people probably watch this and say, boy, he coughs and blah, 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 blah. I don't edit this video. So, I mean, I do edit the beginning and the end just to throw my beginning and the end on, but I don't edit it at all. So what you see is what I record basically live, but just recording it. I don't edit it at all. But, uh, like I said, this, that's this week's event, World Conqueror. So, Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think about it. Um, if you want to join our guild, uh, once again, if you're on Reddit, uh, talk to Dubai Prince. That's his name on there. Uh, or you could just leave me a message on here or something. Or see me in game and we'll try to get you in our guild. Till tomorrow or tonight when I play Guild Wars, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the channel, guys. Give it two thumbs up. I could only show you one at the moment. Ah. Anyway, and I appreciate everybody uh, do, uh, that have been subscribing because I've been out there shouting out the channel. I'm trying to get more gamer uh, channels because I know if you're not into gaming, you really don't want to watch the channel. But anyway, that's it for this week, or uh, for today at least. So this is you, Archangel, saying good night, good afternoon. Whatever it is, I'll see you later. Arriva uh, uh, Chi, whatever. Hasta luego. La 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 la